According to the most recent global estimates, approximately 50% of the world's population suffers from vitamin D insufficiency, exposing them to a greater risk of bone fragility, infectious diseases, respiratory diseases, cardiovascular diseases, and even some forms of cancer. The frenetic pace of modern life, reduced exposure to light, and the use of sunscreens to protect the skin from UV rays contribute significantly to vitamin D deficiency in the general population. For this reason, more and more people are resorting to the use of vitamin D supplements, but they are making some mistakes. But which are they? Let's go see them. First mistake, taking it the wrong way. When we take a vitamin D supplement, the first question we ask ourselves is when should we take it? On an empty stomach or a full stomach? At breakfast, lunch or dinner? Although it can be taken at different times of the day, its absorption can vary based on the foods with which it is taken. Based on the results of some scientific studies, vitamin D, being a fat-soluble vitamin, that is a type of vitamin that does not dissolve in water, but in fats, is better absorbed when consumed together with dietary fats. Extra virgin olive oil, for example, a key food in the Mediterranean diet, is an excellent carrier that promotes the absorption of vitamin D. Among other foods rich in good fats, we find fatty fish, including salmon and mackerel, nuts, such as walnuts and almonds, or avocado, which help improve the bioavailability of vitamin D. Second mistake. Taking it alone. In recent years, new evidence has emerged on the importance of taking vitamin D along with vitamin K2, also known as menaquinin. This is because they have been shown to work synergistically, improving bone health, cardiovascular function, and strengthening the immune system. While vitamin D promotes the absorption of calcium in the intestine, vitamin K2 regulates its distribution, directing it to the bones and preventing its accumulation in soft tissues. According to a recent study conducted by Norwegian researchers, supplementation with vitamin D and vitamin K combined are reported as key protective agents in the prevention of osteoporosis and appear to improve bone mineral density in postmenopausal women. These two vitamins can be taken as individual supplements or through a multivitamin that contains both. Also not to be overlooked is the importance of magnesium, an essential mineral that has been shown to act as a cofactor for the biosynthesis, transport and activation of vitamin D. For the same reason, zinc is also a necessary element for the correct functioning of vitamin D as it promotes its conversion into its active form. According to experts, therefore, when taking a vitamin D supplement, it can be useful to combine it with magnesium, zinc, and or vitamin K2. Third mistake. Interaction with other medications. When taking a vitamin D supplement, it is important to pay attention to possible interactions with medications since some of these are able to reduce its absorption and therefore its effectiveness. Among these we find the intake of some statins, a class of drugs used to lower high cholesterol, anti-epileptic and anticonvulsant drugs, such as phenobarbital, some weight loss drugs, as well as prolonged use of laxatives. The latter accelerate the transit of food and liquids in the digestive tract, reducing the time available for the absorption of vitamins and other nutrients, including vitamin D. The National Institute of Health also reports that vitamin D can also alter the effectiveness of some commonly used medications or increase their side effects. These include some heart medicines, blood pressure and psoriasis medicines, as well as some classes of diuretics. For this reason, before starting a vitamin D supplementation, it is important to consult your doctor, avoiding self-medication, which could be ineffective or even harmful. Only a personalized evaluation, based on blood tests and individual clinical history, can help choose the correct dosage and duration of the supplementation.